Hey YouTube, it's Mrs. Rains here with your ultimate bubble bath essentials as titled. I wanted to talk about this. It's near and dear to my heart. I've been a bather for a very long time. For those of you who are not into bubble baths, this may not be the video for you, but if you are trying to get into bath taking, I say this is the way to jump into it, both feet first. If you don't like the way it feels being in the bathtub, I would say you can always get out afterwards and rinse off in the shower. I know people that do that and that is fine by me um, as a mom i realized early on it's very hard to get privacy and it's very hard to become relaxed and rejuvenated when you're constantly dealing with all the things that go along with motherhood and being a wife so this is a nice way to get away from the hustle and bustle just for a few minutes to take a relaxing bath so as i'm serious about my bath time i decided to compile this to show you how i take my baths now it's up to you if you want to tweak this to fit your needs and tweak it to products that you enjoy the most. Now the first part about taking a bath and the most important part is the bubbles. So here I have pictured some bath time essentials that will help you achieve ultimate bubbles. And for that, I like to layer in two different bubble baths. One is by Calgon, which is pictured right here. And one is by the bath shop pictured here. Both are milk baths. The Calgon bath is actually lavender fragranced, and those can be found at your local grocery store. You can find them at any place that sells bath time um, items. The Calgon I actually found at Dollar Tree, very inexpensive for a dollar, so it's definitely worth the purchase. Along with those, I layer in this bath bar right here. It's a bubble bar from Lush. This is a piece of it, and it's a very wonderful smelling thing to crumble under your um, running faucet. I only use a very small portion of it because I realized early on I don't need a whole lot of it in order to have a really luxurious bath. I try to also space it out because they are not cheap. It's $11.95 for a bath bubble bar from Lush so you want to make sure you use it wisely. So outside of the bubbles, the second most important thing to me is the mood. So I set that with music that I find here on YouTube. I found so many vis videos with jazz music or instrumental music that's very relaxing. You can also find spa music videos and some videos go as long as four hours. No, you don't need it that long, but you can kind of set the mood and start playing the music as you're preparing your bath and it kind of gets you set for what's about to happen. The third thing is atmosphere. I set atmosphere with candles. Here I have my favorite, favorite, favorite candle, which is Clean Linen by Sensational. I've talked about this candle before. It just has a very clean smell, and I enjoy that while I'm taking a bath. Other items that I might consider besides just a candle would be maybe um, other things that set the ambiance, like maybe um, different types of lights. You could hang up string lights. You could hang up um, little twinkly lights, whatever it is that sets the mood for you. You do need some sort of lighting to kind of give you that warm glow, and I think candles are perfect for that. They actually fill the room with a nice warm yellow light. The other items that are essential for bath time, or the fourth most favorite on my list, is snacks and beverages. So here I have prepared some grapes. I have white and red seedless grapes, as long as, I'm sorry, as well as cranberry coconut crackers. Those I get from Trader Joe. They're not very expensive. They're definitely under $2.50 per bag, and you only need a few in your bowl. It's just enough to tie you over until you're out of the tub. It's not meant to be a full meal, but just another something to snack on while you're in the tub. Then there's also a beverage there. It is a Cran Raspberry Sparkling Water by the brand LaCroix. We do drink those in all flavors, and they're zero calories, zero sugar. They take some getting used to if you're not used to sparkling water, but if you do enjoy sparkling water, that's one of our favorite brands to enjoy besides San Pellegrino. And we also have a glass there that we'd like to pour that in just to kind of feel fancy. And number five is your wow item. And what I mean by a wow item is that thing that gives your bath an extra touch. Now you can use all of these items in your bath, or just one of these items in your bath, or none of them. It is totally up to you. Let your wow item be whatever you would like it to be. And for me, a wow item would be a shampoo bar from Lush. That's good for shampooing your hair. You can put it on, and you can kind of let it sit there until you go get in the shower to rinse off. 
or you can put you know a cup or something next to the bath to kind of rinse your hair off while you're bathing it is totally up to you how you want to handle that another wow item to me is a bath bomb i have two listed here this bath bomb is um it came in a pack of six i believe from target they have all different fragrances that one i believe is lavender and strawberry if i'm not mistaken this other one is a unscented bath bomb that you can find at the Dollar Tree, believe it or not. You get three of those little seashells in a pack. They are slow to melt though, so you definitely want to put those in at the beginning of the bath. The other wow item I have listed here is actually bath salts. These bath salts are lavender and plain Epsom salt. Those are good to soak in, especially if you have sore muscles from working out, or if like me, you run from time to time, sometimes you're sore. Those are good to soak in. So I just mix them together and put them in this little glass container. You will recognize the container because I have also used this in a recent video. And I use these all over the house, but I get those from the dollar store. The Epsom salt and lavender salt also come from the dollar store. Very inexpensive to buy a $1 bag of Epsom salt. If you spend $1 per month and you only take two to three baths, you will have more than enough Epsom salt for your bath time. The last wow item that I have here is this sponge. I got this sponge from Home Goods for $1.99. You can find those almost anywhere. I see them all the time. TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I see them all the time at grocery stores. I actually see them attached to um, bathing um, sponges attached to sticks if you want to be able to wash your own back. Those are options as well. But this is good for bath time. One, because it will float so you can find it. And two, because it does hold a lot of um, it does seem to hold a lot of soap, so you don't need to use a lot of soap if that makes any sense, but it does have a lot of lather and a lot of luxurious suds, which is good when you're in the bath because you don't want to feel like you're using a lot of product when you're just trying to have a relaxing bath. So those are the wild items I chose. I do know that there's other videos on YouTube where people mention reading books or watching videos or watching a movie. Those are all great ideas as well. I don't choose to do that because I, I don't think I can stay in the tub long enough to finish a movie, to be honest with you. And with a book, I think there is a high possibility that I might drop it in the bathtub with me. So I choose not to necessarily go that route. I am perfectly okay just listening to the music and laying back with my eyes closed and just relaxing in the bath. So these are the essentials I think you need for a bubble bath. If you have other ideas, please leave them in the comments. I would love to hear what you think. Um, I also have there, which I didn't mention as essentials, was this um, faux peony that I got from Home Goods. I also have this in the living room. I think you saw it in my tour video. But that's just a little something extra to add to the tray to give it some um, atmosphere, I suppose, is the best word. You can put fresh flowers there if you like, no flowers at all if you like. But it's just something pretty to look at on the tray. So, again, this is bath time essentials. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know what you're thinking. I can't believe it's uploaded so soon, but as I stated before, I'm going to be posting two videos in one day or within a 24 hour time period, two to three videos to make up for the fact that I won't be here to post a video on Saturday as I'll be out of town. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to put God at the head of all you do and I'll see you guys on the next one.